There's a group of people who believe that scientists at CERN, using their Large Hadron Collider, accidentally caused the end of our universe, sending us into a parallel one. One of these believers is a very smart young person, often called the smartest kid in the world, and his name is Max Lachlan. He came up with interesting possibilities about what CERN can do and how scientists might have used it to open a doorway to another world. In this video, we'll look at their arguments and explore how they think the machine created this new portal. Let's get into the specifics. Last July, in a big underground lab in Marin, Switzerland, physicists announced they discovered three strange particles that no one had seen before in science and technology. They made this big discovery using the world's largest setup of super-strong magnets, which they call the Large Hadron Collider. Even though some people thought there might be a portal on that day, finding these new tiny particles didn't match those big expectations. The LHC has fascinated and sometimes worried a lot of people for a long time. Even when they were planning it, some scientists worried it might make a black hole. This worry led an Italian physicist named Francesco Calagiuro to write an essay in 2000 called might a laboratory experiment destroy planet Earth? This essay sparked years of discussions, from serious to playful, about whether the LHC might be a danger to us. In 2009, on The Daily Show, John Oliver talked to a science teacher who thought there was a 50-50 chance that LHC might create a world-ending black hole. But Oliver also interviewed real scientists from CERN who gave a much more reassuring view even if it wasn't as funny. While there's still some uncertainty about whether the Large Hadron Collider, LFC, could create unobserved black holes, the Earth is still here. In 2011, two researchers suggested that black holes might exist, but not cause harm. They believed these miniature black holes could be drifting around without causing any problems. But now, Max Lachlan, a widely recognized young genius, is raising concerns about CERN, the organization that runs the LFC. Max first gained fame for sharing deep insights about how our world works and how humans adapt to events in our universe. However, now he's not just sharing facts, he's giving warnings. Max has talked about his worries in videos where he explains his theories, especially about a portal he thinks CERN might have opened. It's worth noting that Max Lachlan isn't just a thinker, he's also an inventor. At the astonishing age of 13, he made a machine that could generate free energy. He showed this off and explained how it could potentially change how people live all over the world. Since then, he's become known for his keen observations of interesting things in our universe. He's curious about our reality and the idea of parallel universes. Some of his ideas suggest that CERN's experiments might be a threat to our existence. He thinks they could lead us into a reality that's very similar to our own, but in a different universe. This idea gains credibility from previous experiments by scientists at the European Organization for Nuclear Research. These experiments mostly use the Large Hadron Collider, a machine made to break down tiny particles and recreate conditions like the Big Bang. According to Max, these experiments might have broken our universe, leading us to exist in a parallel reality. He explained that in our multiverse, there are endless parallel universes, each with its own endless possibilities. He said, we used to have one timeline, but when something unusual happened during the experiment, we ended up in countless parallel universes. So, as we talk, our reality keeps shifting from one universe to another in this never-ending chain of universes, which is our current state of existence. Max suggested that CERN scientists might have noticed this oddity in the way time and space work, and then stepped in to change what was supposed to happen. This discovery challenges what we usually think of as reality. It lines up with reports that the European Organization for Nuclear Research is actively looking into creating portals and changing things to connect different universes.
Before we move further, if you want to see more interesting and mysterious content like this one, subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so that you get notified every time we upload a new video. Furthermore, in the past, there were attempts, though unsuccessful, to file lawsuits against CERN due to concerns about public safety. This shows an underlying worry about the potential side effects of using this groundbreaking technology. The main concerns about the Large Hadron Collider relate to the potential creation of tiny black holes, as mentioned earlier, and the concept of strange matter. The worry about black holes is quite straightforward. One of the LHC's goals is to recreate small black holes, which could provide insights into the origins of the universe by studying the Big Bang. On the surface, this might sound alarming to those without technical expertise. The second concern revolves around the possibility that high-energy experiments at the LHC could produce strangelets, a theoretical substance made of strange matter that could alter the composition of other earthly materials. It's important to remember that strange matter is currently just a theoretical idea. It hasn't been seen in space, where there are naturally occurring high-energy particles interacting. So, do we really need to worry about any big disasters happening because of the Large Hadron Collider? Over the years, people have raised fears about the LHC, both in real life and in fictional stories. For example, in Dan Brown's 2000 novel Angels and Demons, CERN was featured, and there was a plot to steal antimatter to potentially harm the Pope. More recently, the Netflix series Stranger Things brought back the idea that our endless search for knowledge and power might let out harmful forces from another world. But it's important to remember that these are all made-up stories, and a lot of the theories floating around on the internet are in the same category. If you find this way of thinking a bit doubtful, consider what CERN has to say about safety. They stated that LHC can reach an energy level that no other particle accelerators have reached before, but nature regularly creates even higher energies in cosmic ray collisions. Whatever the LHC might do, nature has already done it many times over during the Earth's existence and on other celestial bodies. The LHC is set to finish its mission around 2040, and the worldwide community of particle physicists is actively looking into what will come next. One possibility is the Future Circular Collider, FCC, which is planned to be in a tunnel about 91 kilometers around. This tunnel would be located anywhere from 100 to 400 meters deep, passing through areas in France and Switzerland, including under Lake Geneva. The scientific importance of the FCC has been confirmed by the European Strategy for Particle Physics, which was updated by the member states of CERN in 2020. This strategy said that the FCC was the best choice to replace the current facilities. So, CERN has been given the responsibility by its member countries to start a study in 2028 to see if the FCC is really doable. Depending on what they find, the member states will decide about the whole project, including if the FCC should start in the 2040s. However, many scientists and authors strongly believe that the portal has already opened and it's letting extra-dimensional beings enter our dimension, which is why it is believed that there has been a tremendous increase in UFO sightings all across the world, and workers in China recently captured a video of a very mysterious pyramid-shaped object flying near a power plant. Locals were shocked when they witnessed it, and you will be too when you click on this video to take a look for yourself.